we are discussing about the transistors and the types of your transistors they are the pnp and npn transistor we discussed about the working of a pnp and npn transistor also then if we want to connect the transistor in the circuit we just need uh, four terminals for that connection two in two connections for the two terminals for the input and uh, another two for the output but in the transistor we have only three unit three terminals are there the one one is a base emitter collector but in case of we just need another one also so that's why to rectify that one the one of the terminal is commonly biased for the commonly biased for the input and output by grounding the some like commonly based in that so these are the three types of connections for the transistor once again if we need to connect the transistor in the circuit we need a uh, four terminals two terminals for the input and another two terminals for the output so to overcome that problem we are we are grounding that one of the terminal in the transistor because of transistor having the three terminals one is emitter base collector so that one of the terminal is commonly used for the input and output so that's why these are the three types of uh, connections are there they are the first one is a common based connection we know that in the transistor we have three terminals emitter base collector in that case of we are taking the pnp transistor here there here the one of the base emitter junction can be considered as a input and another one is base collector junction can be connected because of base is commonly connected for the input and output so that's why base is common in a input and output here it is that the input is a base emitter junction means uh, here this is the pnp transistor we are taking that this is the emitter collector and base is grounded and uh, commonly for the this input and output while we are connecting in the circuit this is the circuit diagram here the whenever we consider that this is the base and uh, this one is the emitter collector this is pnp transistor and uh, this emitter base junction can be connected in a for small forward bias already we know that the working of a pnp npn transistor we discussed in earlier videos so it's a small forwardly bias means by connecting the positive terminal of the battery to the p type and the negative terminal of the battery to the this one base then we can get that this is a forwardly biased and uh, to know the flow of the current uh, we just need uh, some of the amplifiers also used in this circuit and to get the output in this case of here load resistance can be connected we can get the output there between the base collector junction and it is a reversely biased reversely biased means here the p terminal connected to negative and uh, n terminal connected to the positive terminal of the battery then uh, it is a highly reverse bias means this one is the small forwardly biased and a collector base junction can be highly reversely biased in this by using this common base connection we can get the values uh, here the collector voltage means uh, whenever they are working then uh, we can get the output in the collector base junction and the input we can get there the emitter base junction then the here emitter current flows through the circuit and also their collector voltage we can get uh, by using the voltmeter or ammeter by connecting the voltmeter and ammeter now we will discuss about this uh, in the connection configurations connection working of a configurations then um, the second type of a configuration is a common emitter configuration common emitter configuration in this common emitter configuration the emitter is emitter is common for the input and output common for the input and output so input can be connected uh, between uh, emitter base means uh, here is the emitter this is the pnp transistor this is collector emitter base here the between the base and emitter we can connect the input and we can get the output between the collector emitter junction so here it is the, the circuit diagram for the the common emitter configuration here is that the collector means output we can get between the collector emitter junction which is a highly reverse biased and uh, here we can get the small forward biased always we know that 
the emitter base emitter base junction can be means the partial of initial initially we can correct that the input can be given by the giving the forward bias means emitter base junction can be given as a forwardly bias a small forward bias and uh, the second part collector base junction by using the pnp and npn transistors so that collector and base junction can be connected in a highly reverse bias so that's why we can get the values uh, of uh, current and uh, voltage so that's why here the in the common emitter configuration the emitter base junction can be considered as input and uh, come emitter collector junction can be considered as uh, output here is that by taking this the forwardly biased and between this reversely biased we can get the values between a uh, collector and emitter bias here is the emitter for is input is there and uh, as well as the uh, output also which is connected emitter is connected to that next one is a uh, third one common collector configuration common collector configuration means uh, the terminal collector will be common for both uh, input and uh, output in this case that is input is collector based junction and uh, output we can get a uh, collector emitter junction here is that this is the pnp transistor we know that then uh, this one is the base and this one is the collector and emitter between the emitter and collector we can get the output and uh, between the base and uh, collector we can we have to apply the input so in the circuit diagram also we can see this is the circuit diagram for common collector configuration this is the common collector configuration collector is connected to input and output also by giving the small forward bias uh, and uh, the emitter collector junction high reverse bias then we can get the current uh, in the circuit so mostly in this circuit mostly we will use the common emitter configuration sir for the amplification factor this uh, transistors can be used for the practice purpose mostly we will use the pnp transistor for the most of the operations uh, and uh, this is common base and a common emitter common collector correct means a common collector common base will which is used for the practice purpose mostly we will use the common emitter configuration then we will discuss about that what is the common emitter configurations there is, a, there is a two type of characteristics will be there that is input character configurations means input characteristics and uh, output characteristics by connecting this circuits in the we can get the if we increase the input then what is the uh, output we can see 